Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here on this Monday. Uh oh, Monday, April the 15th, 2024. Let's make sure. Yes, it is. It's, ooh, honey, it's a Monday. Whoa, you know what that means? Not a goddamn thing. How about that? <laughs> I hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. I am. I got some running around to do this morning on the West Coast, baby, baby. And, um, you know, I woke up just kind of getting my, you know, I always throughout the night, you know, kind of look up in the ceiling and just kind of let my thoughts kind of run through me to see what's really going on inside of me. Because that's 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 where it is, honey. It's inside of me, and it's inside of you. So I look up to the ceiling. And I'm kind of thinking because a lot of stuff is starting to happen. The hammer is is slamming, you know, to the table. You know that cause and effect. You know, you cause something, boom. There's the effect of it, and it's and it appears that things are kind of turned around quicker than they usually are. You know what I mean? get that light out of my eyes in other words things are like happening um rapidly okay whereas um because people can pick up stuff and see my in my glasses people that are paying attention to everything everybody's doing they can pick up a lot of stuff from your glasses you know and the cell phones make it easier for them to do that so they'll know what's going on in your background did you know that? And then know what you're looking at on your computer if you have your glasses in a certain, has have a certain uh, light to them and a certain, you know, pay attention. But anyway, um, so I was thinking, I mean, like I put out a podcast and um, about credibility the other day and how how important that is and so there's a lot of so there's gonna be a lot of things that I keep repeating 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 and talking about talking about because that's sometimes that's what you have to do because most people are not why do I even have them on not most people are not paying attention anyway in most cases especially those that have that nefarious evil intentions they're not listening to anybody else but themselves because they think that they are it, that they know it all, they have all this information, they have these, they have this sort of uh, superpowers, you know, and, and all all of this kind of stuff, and it's all this delusion and craziness, and you know, and it's like whoa, you know. But um, I you know, but as I said about credibility, um, you know, it's so important to understand what I what me and others and people all over the world for hundreds of years thousands of years have been attempting to share with everybody about um, you know the power of and the might of your thoughts and what your thoughts can generate with you or for you and so credible it's a uh, worthy of beliefs um, credit worthy um deserving of often limited praise or condemnation so so the point is that there we go if you understand and and that's all I'm attempting to do is help people to understand about energy and the power of energy and how our thoughts are generating a whole lot of uh, uh, misdirected energy. And um, it ends up, you know, striking a whole lot of people, interfering with a lot of people. Um, and then eventually it's going to, it's going to, um, you're going to reap what you've sown. 
That's basically what I'm attempting to say. So I just want to send out some encouraging words to those of you out there that are genuinely caring about people, genuinely taking care of people, genuinely taking care of yourself. That's the main thing that you you ought to be focusing on anyway is yourself. What is going on inside of you? What are your needs? What are your wants? Are they being, are you uh, taking care of your needs and wants? You know, do you, are, are you, are you feeding yourself properly? Do you, you, are you taking the proper nutrition, you know, via supplements? Because a lot of this food is you losing the, the potent, the potent factors that were considered, you know, considered healthy for us. You know, a lot of the uh, food products are losing all of that, those, uh, benefits and, and, you know, and just turn out to be, you know, um, non-food in some cases, you know, if you knew that there was no value into eating certain things, you wouldn't eat it. But, you know, we all eat what we eat, but you have to pay attention and make sure you supplement, supplement yourself properly. You're drinking appropriate amount of water. You're not going extreme about anything, anything that I'm talking about. You don't go extreme about it. You just kind of pay attention to how you feel, you know, what's going on inside of me. Uh, you know, am I, am I feeling foggy, my brains, you know, my thoughts, am I, am I clear? And in fact, you know, you, you have to ask all these questions of yourself and you have to do it daily, you know, throughout the day. What am I thinking about right now? Okay. Am I being delusional? Am I being unrealistic? What's really going on? Am I, am I overreacting? So, and being kind and gentle with yourself when you're doing that, just to make sure you are grounded a lot of things are going on so if you feel crazy you ought to be feeling crazy okay so don't beat yourself up about what's really going on in your thoughts just allow your thoughts to flow okay you know and then check your environment make sure you know there is no need to be you know if something just pops up in your head you know just kind of figure out okay why did that thought pop in my head? You know, you just got to, there's a lot of work involved with this. And I know a lot of people are just so overwhelmed with the, just the basic necessities of life. And that's why you need to uh, get on top of things as soon as possible. In other words, resolve things. If there's something going on inside of you that you know you need to resolve, you need to resolve it. Whether it's talking to somebody, uh, getting getting clarity on certain amounts of communication you're having with people get clarity on certain amount of discussions you may be having is there is this going on is that going on you know am i being paranoid and i mentioned that on the post um unfortunately and sadly if you succumb succumb to indoctrination and and you're driven by a belief that has no results to support you're just driven by this 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 uh desire of a certain reality that has never existed you know you have these strong strong uh beliefs these strong convictions you know you have these uh you have this um delusion about yourself you're hallucinating all the time about how great you are how wonderful you are, but yet you 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 know you're sleeping in shit literally. You hadn't changed your sheets, hadn't washed your sheets. You know, you hadn't washed yourself. You hadn't cleaned yourself up. You know, but you're just sitting there in some type of fantasy about how great and wonderful you are. And so, unfortunately, these technologies have allowed that to fester. You know, people can anybody can get on a cell phone, as I am, and just be rambling out into the universe or rambling and out into the world about this or that and the other. And in, in most cases, who's checking up on that? Well, those, those, there's going to be a revelation about that as well. You know, it feels as though, you know, everything is, is churning quicker. In other words, that boomerang is speeding up, speeding up, speeding up, and it's headed your way. You know, it's part of the cause and effect. I told you we're in the consequences. So it, it, so a lot of people say, well, gosh, you know, um, we want people to, you know, we, we get upset because we feel as though 
evil wins. And well, if you if you believe that, yes, evil does win. Okay? For me, it's about love. It's about universal love. So my point this Monday morning is stay righteous. Do the right things. Trust yourself. Work on yourself. Develop yourself. Okay, no one has to know these things. You don't have to share all of that with people, especially on social media, because all they're doing is just taking it in, and then they'll, they'll lie and say that they can outdo you. People are attempting to outdo you. You can say certain things, but if you, you know, if you talk about certain things that are going on in your life and these certain formulas that you, you know, that that may not even work anymore, which are irrelevant, you may have used it, because I, because this happens a lot too. Uh, some people, uh, say twenty, thirty years ago, they made it big. You know, they, I mean, they really were shooting up financially in the clouds with so-called materialism. I mean, they made it big. And so they, they they got that reputation as someone that w- was getting results. And, yeah, at that time they probably were. You know, and they, they were invited to speak here, invited to speak there. They were flown all over the country. Everybody was praising them. Everybody wanted to hear them speak. Da, 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 da. So that went on for a while for, that, for a particular person or a particular group or whatever. But then all of a sudden, you know, you know, the sales were up here at one point. You know, they had these high sales figures and they were churning in that that money. And then all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Every over the course of time they started coming off of that, that hill. Though that hill and mountains of success. Right? Because we all get that type of uh opportunity where yeah you can be shooting up to the sky and and you know bringing in all this money bringing in all this this or that and the other materialism but at some point that's gonna i talk i told you about entropy entropy at some point you know um there's there's gonna be a curve to that what do they call that inflection there's an inflection point you know entropy Yeah, what's going on here? Um, where? Okay, yeah. So at some point you're gonna you're gonna you, a lot of us have been hitting hitting the ceiling because because we thought it we thought we are we thought we were um, what's the word? Yeah, people were talking about a glass ceiling, glass ceiling. We've never there is has not been a glass ce- ceiling at all. It's been a a concrete barrier block block. You know, so over the you're gonna get to a point where you, there's nowhere else to go physically. In a material fashion, you know, a lot of us have been hitting that concrete ceiling, and believing that they were you know in a hitting a glass ceiling. So and my point is that at some point you're gonna fall, too. That's just natural. You're going to be high up in there materialistically, and then you're going to fall. So a lot of people have been falling for, for, for five years, 10 years, 20 years, but they keep, they keep relying on some type of success they had 20, 30 years ago where they were ranking in. But now they're, they're, they're and that's why there are a lot of them are coming back, by the way, those type of personalities. They're coming back. They're trying to. They're trying to compete with everybody. They're, they're stealing from people. You know, they had that successful formula that's no longer relevant because they didn't keep up with an understanding of that. At some point, you're gonna have, you're gonna reach a entropy of things, an inflection point. I don't know, a culmination, an end point, something that where you need to be gradually preparing. You know, for the rest of your life, for the fluctuation of that. But most people kept wanting to stay in the clouds, stay in the sky. So now, and then they're looking around, and there's nothing there. So now they're they're attempting to come off of that cloud that they, you know, literally, figuratively, and metaphorically, and then attempt to, 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 you know, uh, invade others that are doing the right things. You know, so. 
my point is to the creative types out there, the genuine creative types that are not parasites and leeches and stealing from people because a lot of that's being exposed. So I would do the right thing, but that's a choice. That's the value of free will as well. Do the right things. Be kind and gentle with yourself. It'll reflect to others because a lot of people don't understand energy and the power of it. But what I'm understanding from what I'm being taught is it is true. Whatever you put out, you're going to get back. That's logical. So if you put out love, universal love, people around you are going to feel that impulse and know, and they're going to, they're going to help to protect you too. Just as you're protecting yourself and your consciousness, they're going to help to protect you too. You ever heard someone just randomly walk up to you and, and be very kind to you or, or being very helpful to you or, you know, smiling with you, going out of their way to say hello to you? Has that ever happened to you? It happens to me quite a bit. Okay. So I'm developing, and I know it happens to others. Because I know there's, there's, like I said, there's certain personalities of people I love. I mean, wow, I like how they are, how they are handling their business, so to speak. <laughs> and people will help people go out of your, their way to help you. Some people used to come up to me because I'll be standing somewhere, you know, and it's obviously I'm lost. <laughs> and then people will come up to me, can, can, can I help you with something? You know, and blah, 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 because they, they know I'm lost. And they're being genuinely kind to say, hey, can I help you? And I'm saying, I'm looking for blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's right there. You know, because uh, <laughs> I told you about me and my sense of direction, but I'm, you know, I'm good now. So, but just have fun with your life. Don't take yourself so seriously. You're not that important. And that's a good thing, by the way, because nobody's that important. You know, we're all human beings. Why would one human being be more important than the other? That's delusion. And all of that is going to filter out of our out of our consciousness, meaning those that participate in certain type of behaviors are going to be separated and they're going to be swirling together in an abyss, brutalizing each other. That's like it's going to be a ball of energy of people that are going to be, be, be together and they're going to stay together forever. Meaning their experiences in life is going to be the same thing. Over, deja vu, deja vu. They're going to be high one day, low. You know, it's going to be such an extreme fluctuation. They're not, their consciousness is not going to be able to handle it. A lot of them are going to commit suicide. A lot of them are going to commit suicide murder. A lot of them are going to go on some mass killing. I mean, they're going to be together forever. Okay? So do the right thing. Keep on your journey, stay on your path, stay aligned, trust your alignment. I do. You know, I do. I trust my alignment. <laughs> and um, do the right thing. Understand that the energy you put out is the energy you bring in. If you can understand that simple concept, you know, you, you'll snap out of your trance. You'll snap out your indoctrination. But there are some people that are lost. And that's what I determined to over the last week or so some people that I was interacting with you know but I was picking up the the thing that I I'm so thankful for is I was trusting my instinct because I was starting to pick up contradictions 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 and this person had no results for anything that they were saying but they were saying a whole lot you know and then I just realized it was all smoke and mirrors it was lying this person was stealing people's ideas stealing so and I and I and so what I was feeling about stuff that was taken from me, okay, I, that was my confirmation. I knew stuff was stolen from me as well. My ideas, my uh, my material, you know. Uh, and so that's why I say for, for the genuine creative types, protect yourself as best you can, but understand that you know what you're up against and know how to how to navigate through that and how to handle it without seeking retaliation or revenge because that that's not how i operate i understand the energy of, of what you put out and what you you know so there are certain people i and i, and I said this to you know that you know you know but yeah hey you know the the thing i have to keep in mind as well is that 
you, yeah, I, I say what I need to say. I make people, I make it known to people what I'm picking up. Something's not right here. But then I step away from it and not interfere. Okay. Um, I just remain cautious on my behalf, on the, on the behalf of people I love. I become protective. Yes, I do. When I, you know, if I notice, if I sense something that's about to happen, I make sure the people I love are taken care of, and they usually are, because we know how to, the people I love know how to behave and act. So, but uh, trust yourself, you know, be kind and gentle with yourself and others. Uh, keep developing, keep developing, resolve stuff, resolve stuff. If you need, like I said, if you need to handle this, handle it. If you need to take care of this, take care of it. And um, not be concerned about what you don't have. Ask yourself, what do I have? And how can this keep me moving forward and developing? Change your mode of thinking. That's the most important thing you can do for yourself. So let me go ahead and run out, handle my business and handle some responsibilities. And, um, you know, and keep working on what I'm working on. But I'm going to send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains to everyone that resonates with my love my universal love for you i hope you feel it you know because i i can feel it so i know you can so peace and love everybody and trust me i'll be back